Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jackie Boyle and I wanted to uh, discuss with you about Emulin today. Um, it's a product that's very close to, um, to my heart uh, for a very good reason because it's been a, a life-changing product for me personally. And um, I wanted to go through why and give you a, a better understanding on why you should consider um, the reason why I continue to share this, that Amulin is essential for everybody. And it is something that um, as a vitamin, it should be something that you should be looking to, um, to place into your daily regime. And hopefully after you've um, listened to this short presentation, you'll be able to understand that we do have a lot of um, conditions and a lot of external factors that we're confronted with. Some of them we do not have any control over, um, others we do. Um, but I'd like to um, be able to share this with you. So I'll just bring this up and we can get started with it. Just if you can bear with me so we can um, get this up onto a full screen and eliminate this over here so that you're not having to um, see that. So as we start talking about where you are in today's world, um, how you are personally yourself, because let's be honest, we are all confronted with a lot of things on a daily basis. And there are a lot of challenges and mentally, physically and emotionally that we are constantly um, trying to navigate through. So, you know, when we start unleashing our, our like vitality um, and trying to find the success of finding that product or those natural products that are safe and easy to use, not just for yourself, but for all your family. Um, so I really do want you to consider asking yourself at this point in time, are you ready to change your life for the better? Um, to be able to make a difference that your choices are going to be impacting how you feel as you go forward into your life. So there's three questions that I really want you to consider as you're listening to this presentation. Um, one of those is uh, health, the other is wealth, and the other is happiness. So when we start looking at health, you know, do you want to feel better? So imagine being able to wake up each morning and actually feel more energized. You know, you know enjoy your family, enjoy life, enjoy doing things with your friends and socializing and having wealth. And I don't just mean in the monetary sense, I mean having wealth of being rich in health because let's be honest, um, and I sure know, being ill costs money. So investing time in your health before your health invests all of your time is something to really take seriously um, because if you don't, you could be one of the statistics that you find that um, life has been cut short for one reason or another. And happiness, you know, <laughs> would you like less aches and pains? You know, can you imagine what you would do if you were able to? You know, if you're, you know, if something's limiting you at this point in time, like do you have dreams that you would like to do? And how would it feel to be able to tick off your bucket list? So imagine being happy because you're healthy. And imagine being wealthy because your health is so much better. So having the happiness, knowing that you've got the wealth in good health, um, I know it's something that I want to invest in on a regular daily basis, and I do. So I want you to stop and think about this when we look at the tree of life. You know, trees only expand and they can grow and reach up towards the, star, towards the sun and become a bigger, um, voluptuous, more healthy um, tree when we're looking at from the outside because of what's going on in underneath and we can't see what the quality of the soil is and it's the same for us with our bodies on the inside you know we need to take an informed decision ourselves to be able to ensure that we are making good choices for our, our bodies to be able to fuel our bodies with correct uh, nutrition that's going to assist us um, at a cellular level and to be able to maintain good health so that on the outside that we start to shine as well, just like a tree. So I wanna ask you today, you know, when we start looking at um, your health, that we start looking at it in a three month cycle. So as we progress through, uh, I wanna ask you to think about how you're feeling today. You know, are you like this little person at the top here that's unhappy in some way? You know, your body's just at dis-ease. 
um, because you're having challenges that you're finding that are constantly interfering in how you feel and you have that inability to be able to do things to what you could do 10 years or even 20 years ago. So let's work in a three month cycle together. You know, at three months, I'd like to consider that you would be feeling a bit better. You might be a bit blue still, but by that six month period, you're going to start to feel a lot happier. By nine months, you start to see that you're going to feel, you know, you've got a smile on your face because you genuinely feel better. And then by that 12 month period, um, we've started to unravel at a cellular level with Emulin some of those problems that you have to be able to support and assist your body so that your body starts to feel better. So you start to actually want to live life to the capacity that you um, choose to. So yes, you've got a lot to smile about and that's what the, um, the aim of this is for you today. So if we start looking at statistics, then these become quite alarming. So you know, one in two Australians have a chronic disease. Uh, chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, cancer and diabetes. They're just some of the leading causes of illness and disability throughout Australia and death, unfortunately. And almost one third could be prevented. But despite this, there's only 1.5% of spending that's been dedicated to prevention, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to think that it's more. And one of the biggest um, you know, threats that we have to us as a human race is diabetes. And some of that is a um, genetic, something that our parents have passed down to us, but it's usually ignited through um, our food choices. You know, what we decide to eat, our lifestyle choices, whether we're too sedentary, we're not getting enough exercise. So diabetes is on the rise. You know, 422 million adults have diabetes. That's one in 11 people that have diabetes and it doesn't choose anybody in particular, male, female, young, old, pregnant, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're not doing the right thing by your body, you may find you end up with type one, type two um, diabetes that you're having to try and manage. Um, and some of the alarming things are one in 1.5 million deaths are caused by diabetes. Um, so it is something to sit up and take notice about to be able to take charge of what's happening with your body. So what are the main problems? Like what's one of the main problem areas? Carbohydrates. You know, carbohydrates metabolize into sugar and raise blood sugar and blood glucose levels. And this creates inflammation. So when we look at rice, one small little bowl of rice has that much sugar in it. Um, it's pretty alarming. It's hidden sugars in our food. We think that rice is something good that we can have, but the fact is that it's a raw food. Um, so our bodies have to try and work a lot harder. And if it's raw, it means it's, uh, sorry, it's not raw. It's, um, it's not raw, sorry. It is something that is, um, it has to be cooked. So then therefore by it being cooked, it means that it's something that it has hidden um, sugars in there to be able to sustain a lifespan for it rather than a raw product that um, has an expiry date on it. So we start looking at the, um, the sugar cycle. It's an addictive cycle and it's actually a deadly cycle. Um, so we start looking at where we want to eat sugar because you like it and you crave it. Um, it is an addiction. Yeah, our blood sugar levels spike, our dopamine, like that feel good that you get because it's like, uh, for instance, if you're a chocolate lover, you feel good when you eat it and it gives you an instant high. But just as quickly as you get the high, you're going to get the drop in your sugar levels. They continue to drop. And then what happens, you start to crave for those sugar um, foods, hunger becomes a lot greater, your blood sugar levels become lower and you start looking for sugar to be able to pick up the sugar um, levels again and you start to want to crave for that dopamine, that feel good again, and it's just that deadly cycle. Um, sugar isn't the answer to try and find, uh, to get that dopamine high, to get the energy levels up. We need to look at other healthier foods. But you need to be aware on what you're eating you know, where the hidden sugars are. So fruit is good for us, but fruit does contain sugar. Um, so just looking at an apple contains one teaspoon. A bowl of rice, as I said to you, is 10 teaspoons. Two slices of bread, seven teaspoons of sugar. Um, a can of Coke or soft drink, 11 teaspoons of sugar. So that is toxic and the body then becomes a toxic um, time bomb. 
So if it's not used, it becomes a poison. It's just sitting within the body uh, because we're not using it. These are just 56 names of types of different sugars uh, because a lot of people may think they do not eat sugar, um, but fructose, you know, lactose, looking at fruit juices, um, you know, the rice syrup, there's so many in here, brown sugar, uh, there's a lot in here, caster sugar, um, that they're hidden sugars that we're not even aware of that we're actually eating, raw sugar as well, golden syrup, maple syrup, um, they're all things that are contributing towards inflammation. Um, and sugar is a really big uh, key factor in regards to fueling inflammation and if we start looking at this man who looks really unhappy um, and why wouldn't he be if he's full of inflammation and he may be suffering with one or two of these um, conditions that you can see through from arthritis to joint pain due to bowel conditions diabetes um, he may have a weight problem so they're all things that have one key um, common denominator there and it's inflammation will be present and it's through what we're eating, which is helping to increase the inflammatory levels within the body through the sugars and also the excess carbs, which lead to carb toxicity. So in increased blood sugar, uh, it elevates our blood fats, where excessive weight gain, poor sleep, sluggish physical and mental energy, creates tiredness and constant hunger. Um, so prolonged excess carbohydrates becomes one of the root causes of most diseases and it fuels our inf inflammation levels. So between the sugars and the carbohydrate intake, it becomes a massive problem for us. So what we're wanting to try and do is to create lean muscle mass um, just by our food choices. And this is where emulin can become such a, um, a powerful vitamin to incorporate in your daily um, regime. So, you know, looking at one pound of muscle mass in comparison to one pound of body fat. And if I did ask you to lose five pounds of fat, just one pound a week, that's an awful lot of body fat to be able to, um, to lessen, to take off of your body so that your body hasn't have to um, carry that. And then also to be able to manage it with your internal organs. So just some statistics here. So, you know, every 10 minutes an Australian will have a stroke. Uh, we're looking at our heart, um, our heart health here, that 434,000 Australians have an irregular heartbeat. And, you know, there's only $5 billion in our economy that um, we may not think that's a lot of money, um, but, you know, I think it's rising in the aspect of where that's what it's costing the economy towards um, helping people that are having strokes. I think it's on the rise, to be quite honest. Uh, and looking at 6.1 million Australians have high cholesterol. Some of that is um, genetic that we carry over, but we can manage that through the food choices and also our lifestyle choices as well. So looking at our heart health, uh, this is what a healthy heart looks on the left-hand side as opposed to an unhealthy heart that has a lot of visceral fat around that. And it's not just your heart, it's your other internal organs as well that have this visceral fat that start to accumulate around them. And a lot of it is due to our lifestyle choices. Um, and it can create, you know, an increased risk in a lot of areas um, like your heart um, into cancer, dementia, diabetes, depression, and um, arthritis, being overweight, and then it interrupts with your um, sleep patterns as well. So looking at carbohydrate, excessive carbohydrate intake, refined carbohydrates and also sugars are two of the key components that actually fuel inflammation. And inflammation is the activation of the body's immunity in response to infection um, and also irritation or injury. So short-term acute inflammation is useful for the body because it helps it repair itself. But long-term chronic inflammation can cause other diseases and some of them can be life-threatening such as heart disease, diabetes, cancer and more. So excessive consumption of refined carbohydrates can lead to inflammation. So this is where um, emulin again becomes such a huge um, key vitamin to be able to assist you. So these are just some of the chronic inflammation disorders that uh, you commonly hear of and they're neurological disorders through to Alzheimer's, Huntington's, dementia, Parkinson's, um, chronic inflammatory disorders, you know, irritable bowel, um, pancreatitis, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, 
um, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, which is your fatty liver disease through to heart disease, diabetes again, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, then all of your chronic pain disorders like fibromyalgia, neuropathy, um, cancer, all the different types of cancer, mental health disorders, you know, clinical depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, cardiovascular diseases, they all have one thing in common that they have present, they have chronic inflammation. So if you could imagine if you were able to have something that could help your body, to support your body and assist it to be able to lower the levels of inflammation, um, I bet you'd be interested in it. So when we start looking at inflammation, you know, what is it? The subject of inflammation is far and wide and we require 10 pages to do it justice in all honesty. But in short, however, nearly 85 to 95% of health disorders are inflammation based. So meaning they were likely triggered by inflammatory um, conditions or inflammatory levels being in balance. So inflammation can be the beginning of cancer, diabetes, weight gain or loss, um, insomnia, depression, fibromyalgia, all of those conditions that we went through before. Um, you know, if our inflammation levels aren't managed, um, it puts us at a higher risk. So why does this product differ to all other anti-inflammation products on the market? Amulin, simple. It deals with the root cause and not just the symptoms. They are current, there is currently no other product on the market of this nature. Um, and it is fully patented and clinical studies to prove its effectiveness with amulin. So what are some of the triggers of inflammation? Obesity, the lack of nutrients in our food, stress, emotional and physical, uh, medications, bad diet like our food choices, uh, bacteria, viral um, pathogens that are floating around, our environmental, um, you know, what's happening around us environmentally, toxins, the food additives, and obesity is another big factor as well for us that's creating um, the triggers for inflammation to increase. So who's behind um, Emulin? Like who's the creator? Uh, this brilliant man, Dr. Joseph Ahrens, um, has a lot of credibility behind him. He has a doctorate. Um, as you can see here, he is a dual nominated Nobel Prize um, scientist in 2015 and 16. He has his own company and he is the inventor of um, Emulin that I'm going to discuss further as we go through. So what is the solution behind what we've discussed looking at what the statistics are, uh, you know, what the damaging effects of sugar are, um, refined carbohydrates? The solution is Emulin. It is a nat it's naturally derived compound that has a unique ability to buffer and quell the effects of glucose on the human metabolic pathway, which will be instrumental in treating the likes of hyperglycemia and hopefully will improve the lives of diabetics worldwide. Amulin is an incredible discovery. It is a whole new way of attacking the problem of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Uh, metabolic syndrome is a disorder of aging, which is made up of five symptoms which are often seen together and predict diabetes. And these are obesity, um, mostly around the waist, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides and high fasting blood glucose levels. These symptoms alert you to the fact that diabetes could be in your future if you do not make changes. Amulin should be one of those changes you incorporate into your daily routine. So what is Amulin? Um, everybody needs Amulin. You know, Amulin is the world's first carbohydrate manager. Um, the actors in Amulin help your body overcome the negative effects of carbs in a natural and holistic way. Um, it is a natural patent blend of three ingredients and we will go through those as we uh, move forward, but they work in synergy to significantly reduce the negative effects of carbohydrates, giving sustained energy throughout the day. So who are the men behind it? Dr. Ahrens uh, had a partner that did a lot of work with him, uh, Daryl Thompson, for years. And they started off at the Florida Department of Citrus. And over a period of 15 years, they started working on a grapefruit solution for weight loss. And as they were working through that, this resulted in the creation of Emulin. And they went on to patent this, um, this formulation as we know it today. You know, so what are refined carbohydrates? 
you know, if we start looking at refined carbohydrates are highly processed and all their nutrients like vitamins and minerals and fiber has been removed. Um, so as a result, your blood sugar will rise very quickly when you consume it. And this makes them easy to digest, causing your blood sugar to rise quickly. So if we look at it very briefly here, uh, white rice is the main one at the top here. So consuming white rice will elevate your blood sugar level very high as opposed to spinach or an apple. Um, it will increase your blood sugar levels, but at a lot lower rate for you. The constant intake of excess refined carbohydrates leads to chronic inflammation. And this is where Amulin becomes a phenomenal product to be able to assist and support you. Um, so Amulin is putting back what has been taken out of our original diet. And there are three active ingredients, um, ricidin, quercetin, and chlorogenic um, acid in Amulin. So when we look at chlorogenic, chlorogenic acid, it's a green coffee bean extract. And these are just some of the things that this um, component are capable of assisting and supporting the body in. You know, imagine being able to improve your metabolism, um, your blood circulation, being able to improve your immune system, um, detox, boost your energy system, help you in weight loss, and it is a powerful antioxidant as well. Maricidin is a grape extract. So it assists the body towards lowering the inflammatory levels uh, where cancer is present, which can help the body to slow that process down. Um, and hopefully not fuel it by being able to manage what you're actually eating a lot more efficiently. Reducing inflammation, lowering cholesterol, promoting a healthy brain and heart and improving vein elasticity and blood circulation and improving your skin as well because it prevents um, the reverse effects of UVB, so the sun damage, um, which obviously then can create um, lessening in wrinkles within the body as well. Quercetin um, comes from the onion bulb. Again, it's an extract. And it's very important because it helps fight aging and inflammation. It's an antioxidant. It improves your immune system, manages heart and blood vessels, manages allergies, infections, and chronic fatigue, helps fight arthritis, and fights other inflammatory related conditions. And I've mentioned a lot of those previously before as well. So we have two areas, um, two types of emulin. And you know, one of those is emulin C. It is optimized sugar management. So it's specifically for people that have a blood sugar um, level problem. So type one, type two diabetics. So it's a patent blend of natural plant flavors and it helps maintain proper blood sugar levels. Um, and it may accelerate weight loss, level, level, weight loss efforts because it's helping you to control um, your sugar levels for you. Whereas Emulin M is maintenance um, for a healthy lifestyle. It is for everybody else. So from the time that you're born, even through pregnancy to the last day that you take your breath, you can take Emulin M if you're not a diabetic and have sugar um, level problems. So, but Emulin M can help with mental clarity. It is an M inflammation manager. And as I said before, it is the world's number one first carbohydrate manager. Um, it is an immune support system for you as well. So you've got two choices here. So you need to be very aware on what your body requirements are uh, before you actually decide which one that is best for you. So how does Emulin work? There are seven pathways. So the path, first pathway is starch to sugar conversion. So Emulin goes to work when you eat. So it buffers the enzymes that break starches down into glucose, which means less sugar is released from the food. So up to one third of what you're consuming is chaperoned through the body. Uh, and our second pathway is glucose absorption. So when the food is, di is digested in the upper um, gastrointestinal tract, it's buffered um, through the absorption of glucose so less sugar reaches the bloodstream. Pathway three, glucose tissue uptake. So once sugar is in the blood, amulin helps move it into the tissues such as the muscles, where it provides energy and muscle growth. Pathway four, fat formation. Amulin acts as a traffic cop. So directing sugar away from the fat stores and into muscle tissue. It signals to increase the metabolism to help burn even more fat. 
Imagine that. <laughs> That's a pretty darn thing, good thing to think about. Pathway five, glucose homeostasis. So it helps maintain a healthy balance of blood sugars so it doesn't spike too high or it doesn't dip too low. Pathway six, insulin release. So Amulin encourages fast, healthy release of insulin when the body needs it. So insulin transports glucose across cell membranes and removes it from the blood. And the last pathway seven, insulin sensitivity. So the better your body responds to insulin, the more insulin sensitive you are. Amulin promotes increased insulin sensitivity, so you need less insulin to lower your blood sugar. It's pretty powerful, isn't it? So how does Amulin stack up to its competitors? You know, when we start looking, I've spoken about the seven pathways, and the seven pathways here, when we look across the top here, are all the way across through here. Uh, which I've just gone through. So it has the ability to tackle all of these seven. These are just some of the competitors down here that are in the same um, area or the same space um, that we're told it can do the same thing as what Emulin can do. But when we start looking at where the stars are, there's nothing like Emulin. And the beauty of Emulin being is that it's a natural product, therefore it's processed through the gut. Um, and unlike scripted medications, they're processed through the liver predominantly. So this product has a lot of power behind it. Um, so when we start looking at um, through here is to, you know, how the body um, interacts with carbohydrates. We need to modify the effect of carbohydrates on the body. So Amulin helps with better energy, you know, sleep, less joint pain, reduced cravings for sweetened carbohydrates foods, um, Amulin provides a daily dose of flavonoids to reset the metabolism. So within a week, we will see an improvement in our health. It happens that quickly. I'm not saying it's going to cure, heal or fix you, but you are going to notice a big difference within that first week. We need to reduce our intake of carbohydrates and increase protein and fats. It is possible to have a meal or a day each week without carbohydrates. You know, we eat sugar, the part of the brain which lights up is the same part which lights up when people use cocaine. It's pretty alarming, isn't it? That's how much of an effect that sugar has on the body. The same as what cocaine does to the brain. Um, so it's something we really need to consider looking to address. And this is where amulin is so effective in controlling the sugars in our food. So real food has color and taste and can be eaten raw. We cannot eat wheat and rice raw because our bodies do not have the enzymes to digest them. So rice has no benefit to the body. So how do you tell if something is a good carbohydrate um, is to ask if you can eat it raw. So if you cannot eat it raw and you have to cook it, it means that it is a refined carbohydrate and it's not very good for our body because we can't break it down on our own. Uh, whereas raw food we can. So we need to eat fruit, eggs, nuts, etc. but we cannot eat too many nuts. Um, we cannot live without protein and fats, but we can live without carbohydrates. So one in five people are carbohydrate sensitive. Um, so again, it's something to, um, to consider. So Amulin, um, you know, we consider it to be the missing link because, you know, we used to find um, flavonoids are found in our fruit and vegetables. But unfortunately, it's been grown out of a lot of our food. So this is where amulin replaces the flavonoids which are missing from our food and our diet. Um, flavonoid deficiency syndrome results in low energy and eating more carbohydrates only makes it worse. You know, some people will say, I don't eat any carbohydrates. Well, amulin can manage sugars and energy levels. Um, so for those people that think that they're not eating them, in actual fact, there are hidden carbohydrates in most of the foods. So this is where amulin can help you, assist and support the body. You know, and the great thing about this, amulin, if it was discovered 30, 30 years ago, it would have been classified as a vitamin. Um, you know, it has the ability to speed the metabolism, so still eat less carbohydrates and energy, and it will burn fat. So 100 years ago, consider this. You know, we used to eat 18 pounds of sugar a year, approximately. Um, we didn't have fast food um, outlets like we do today. And today, the average person consumes 180 pounds of sugar a year. Um, I have to say, it's no wonder that we're actually in a crisis of um, having problem managing our weight. 
Amulin. You know, again, everybody needs Amulin. Amulin has had human clinical trials um, done. This is why when we look at the science and technology behind this product is a high quality product. And hence, going back to saying that, you know, Dr. Arias is nominated um, not once, but twice for a Nobel Prize nomination for the work that he did. Um, there is a PubMed abstract with Emulin specifically, so please um, go in and have a look for that. As I said, the science and technology behind this product, um, it is of a high quality. It's not just a vitamin. This is a, a phenomenal um, product that is essential for everybody, and it is backed by science. It is patent, as I did mention before, um, both Emil and M and C. And so we know that we can safely take something that isn't just a normal supplement. Like they've gone um, to the degrees of ensuring that it has published papers. Um, it is a registered product. It has patents on the, on the product itself. So the credibility is behind the science and the research that's been done for a lot of years to discover this product. So just to recap and just to remind you, just on a few statistics, just think about how groundbreaking Amulin is when it comes to the science behind, behind it. That one in three adults suffer from high blood pressure. 387 million people worldwide are living with diabetes. 54% of people are admitted to hospital with a, with a heart event, have a high cholesterol level. 3.4 million deaths are caused by overweight or obesity. Now, if you could try and change any of that through, you know, your food choices, your lifestyle changes, um, you know, what you can do, imagine bringing Emulin into your regime on a daily basis to be able to help you um, manage your carbohydrates and control your sugars and to be able to assist and support your body to lower the levels of inflammation or help them from increasing, um, you're going to be a lot happier on the inside. You're going to have a healthier body and you're going to be wealthier uh, because you're going to be a lot happier with each day. So I do want to thank you. I want to remind you um, that Amulin is um, a phenomenal product that has been created by a nominated Nobel Prize scientist. And I want you to consider what it would feel like to live strong, to live well, um, and to live life to the full capacity that you're entitled to and that you should be able to do. So um, I really thank you for, um, for listening to this presentation. I hope that you got a lot out of it. And if you'd like to ask me any more questions, please come back to me. But as I said, my name is Jackie Boyle. I am passionate about Emily because it has changed my life. Um, and I will say that if you, uh, I was destined to be um, in a wheelchair um, before I started taking Amulin and you know life has completely just turned around. It's taken its time but it has slowly unraveled at a cellular level for me and I am now certainly living my life um, to where I have the best health management system that I could possibly have with Amulin because it supports and assists all of the conditions that I have to be able to make them more manageable. So thank you very much and I hope that you have a great day. And thank you for listening.